hey what is up guys welcome back to the world of ai in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys something which is actually very scary but it is very progressive in this day and age and that is auto gpt it is basically a fully autonomous with chat gpt4 it makes everything basically work on its own and it connects with the current open source applications and it is open sourced by open ai and this basically what the app does is that it combines ChatGPT4 with these open sourced apps, which it sources by its own using internet. And what it actually does is that it does the things that ChatGPT4 wouldn't do on its own. So it continuously keeps working to find the best solution. And this is something that I'm going to be showing and I'm going to be pasting down below this application, which is on GitHub. So basically what you can do is you can, I can show you the installation after, but I'm just going to show you guys what this actually is. So as it says here, AutoGPT is an experimental open source application showcasing the capabilities of GTP4 language model. So the language model itself, as we know, is very new now, and it is very new in the term that this application is very new. So it's continuously working on demos. It's a demo right now, and it's continuously working to make it functional so that it can continuously keep on working autonomously, which is crazy to think of, guys, because if you think about it, if you have something, an AI that continuously works without humans actually feeding it with prompts, it could be very easy for you to, it's very progressive, but at the same time, it's also very scary because you don't know what it can actually do because it can keep on continuously working on its own to do something. But obviously there's restrictions and there's capabilities to manage it. But in this case, it's just a demo. And what you got to do is just embrace it as it's innovation and you got to keep working at it and keep adapting to what changes but that's basically the gist of what the program is so now driven by gtp4 autonomously develops and manages businesses to create increase in net worth obviously this is one of the things that the application is trying to do obviously you can use it for certain other cases as one of the first examples of gtp4 fully autonomously auto gpt pushes the boundaries of what the is possible with ai and what's crazy is that a couple of days ago elon musk and a lot of these bigger companies as well as a lot of bigger world representatives has said that we should pause on ai basically working on continuously growing ai because it is coming to a point where we cannot manage it in a sense like there's going to be a time where we won't be able to actually manage this. But this is a whole different topic that I can talk about later on. But more about the actual application. Here is actually a demo of what is going on. And I'm going to be showing you guys what it is basically. So you basically in this with the application, you describe what the role is. You describe what you're trying to do with this prompt. And initially you just you're in this case, it's a demo of where you're a chef and you're telling it and inputting it something to find something and you will see progressively throughout the whole process what it actually does it sets parameters as well as it starts working on its own to find certain objects which i'll show you so first it thinks on its own its reasoning and it also provides a criticism and it also provides where it finds the information what it does and it continuously keeps on working on its own to find the best results and you can see over here, it's just continuously working at it, at it, and at it. And over here, we see, if you keep on skipping at it, a little bit further to the end. And we're almost here. And basically, all the way to the end, it formulates what the actual initial cause was, which we can see at the front, where was asking you to invent an original out of the box recipe to suit the current event such as easter save the resulting recipe to a file shut on upon achieving your goal so basically you just send out a prompt and you tell it some of the tasks and it'll do it for you which is insane because it'll it won't need continuous like modifications from your end it will just keep on doing it autonomously auto generately and it will formulate what you want to achieve now, what it does, it will browse through. It will do the same thing that you would do on ChatGPT 3 or 4. Now, in this case, which will even formulate better responses and better articulated creative, like artificial like content. And in this case, 
it just does it auto autonomously and which we can see over here it has thoughts of its own it does the reasoning and it does the criticism and it does the sourcing and that's how amazing this is guys and at the end you can see it saves it into a file and it is provided to you i highly recommend that you guys check this out play around with it it could be very beneficial for you and please support these guys as i'm not i'm not a part of the team or anything but i'm just highlighting something that is very beneficial and that's something that i do at world of ai i try to source and bring you guys value and so i highly recommend that you check out some other videos guys if you haven't and please subscribe that would mean the world to me now in terms of some of the features as i talked about there's internet access which i talked about at the start and it searches for the information that you're trying to gather and there's long-term and short-term memory management which you can do when you obviously download the files you can uh feature access some of the features to save it on certain drives gtp4 which is the thing that the engine that we're using the language access to popular websites that's something that it does it, and it, as we talked about file storage and summarization with gtp 3.5 and obviously these are some of the requirements that you can do some of the installations requirements uh you can get the github clone and these are some of the things that you can do to actually install it and everything will be in the description below and another thing that i wanted to emphasize is is a continuous mode so run the ai without user authorization these are some of the things that you need to work on and like make sure you read through the disclaimers and obviously there's certain limitations this experiment aims to showcase the potential of gtp4 but comes with some limit limitations not a polished application or, or product just an experiment may not perform well in complex real world business scenarios in fact it actually does please share your results in fact if it actually does sorry quite expensive to run so set the and monitor your api key limits with open ai and yeah that's basically the gist of it guys obviously you want to keep on playing around with it and this is a demolition or i'm sorry not demolition this is a demo so they're continuously going to keep on working on growing it and experimenting with different coding uh, codes as well as different like algorithms to help the system work better but it's just amazing to see something like this in this day and age guys we're in 2023 and we're seeing things such as AI automating tasks for yourself. This can be very revolutionary and it could be very beneficial for our basic business impact as well as for society. So I hope this video pushes you to keep on working on the source of making a business or a positive creative impact on this world. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want me to do more of these types of videos where I emphasize more on certain cool applications that are released with ChatGPT. i'm more willingly to like happily to do that so if you guys enjoyed this video guys please subscribe uh, we hit an amazing milestone of 100 subscribers the channel has been growing i've been getting a lot of feedback and messages guys so thank you so much please leave it down in the description below if you guys want to have any thoughts or anything and with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas